Hey everyone, welcome back to Pajama Crafts where I do crafts in my pajamas. Today I have three DIYs for you guys. I'm trying to talk a little bit quietly because Brie is napping and I will have a little clip of her and Koi at the end with her first time playing in the snow. It's so cute. Now for this first DIY, I'm using some wood that I had on hand that I got from Home Depot a long time ago. You can see that purple spray paint in the corner of the piece of wood. And that tells you that it's 75% off because there's something wrong with it. In this case, this wood was a little bit warped and I didn't care um, because I'm just going to make a rustic sign with it. So um, this was really, really cheap when I did get it a while back and I just decided to cut it up. I didn't want my pieces even because I thought it would look a little more rustic this way and I'm just using some wood glue to attach these with some mm. scrap wood that I had on hand. Now I'm painting the whole thing black and I'm actually making two of these um, but I'm mainly just showing you how I made the one because they're almost exactly the same. Just the saying is a little bit different. I wanted one to say love you more and one to say love you most. I thought it would be really cute to have that hanging um, like above our bed or something because that's something that Zach and I say all the time and so it's kind of our little saying and I thought that would be really really cute to have in our bedroom. Now once that black paint was dry, I went over it again with some white Waverly chalk paint. And the reason I like to put the black underneath is because when I sand it later to distress it, I like to have that black color showing through. I think it makes it look extra, extra rustic and I just really, really love that look. If you don't like to distress, you can just go ahead and paint it white to begin with. Now I know I told you guys I was trying to have an uploading schedule, but with all of this craziness going on, that has gone out the window, so I hope you don't mind me just putting things up whenever I get a chance. Um, so next I did uh, my Cricut stencils on some contact paper from Dollar Tree, and I will leave the link in the description for the video on me showing you how I make those. Um, that's been a while ago, so I've learned a little bit more since then, but I really do appreciate all your guys' tips and everything, um, that I learned from you guys so far. And then I am just using some clear contact paper from Walmart to use as transfer tape. I know sometimes you guys have said, oh, I saw you crumple it, don't waste it, you can use it more than once. But a lot of times when I'm taking it off, the... Um, contact paper underneath the Dollar Tree contact paper it doesn't always stay the best so sometimes the <laughs> transfer tape gets or you know that contact paper from Walmart that I'm using for transfer tape sometimes it gets crumpled while I'm doing it and so that's why I have to throw it away now I'm just using some ink Waverly chalk paint to fill this in. Um, some of you have asked for tips on how I get it not to bleed through. And I just use a flat sponge brush um, that I've already had for a long time. I think I got these from Walmart. It came in a pack with like several different sizes. And I just bounce it up and down with only a tiny bit of paint on my sponge so that it doesn't leak underneath. No strokes, just up and down, really soft. Now he didn't show me sanding on here because I actually took this outside and used my electric sander on it, but you can just do regular sandpaper too to distress. This is just easier for me and I didn't take my camera out there to film. You can see in this little spot I'm going to have to touch up a little bit, um, but I think both of the signs came out really cute. I love to distress, so I did a lot of distressing, but of course you don't have to do that at all. And then this is just the second one that I was finishing, um, and I love, love, love them. Also, you guys, I don't want to forget to tell you that um, I started a new channel with Koi, and it's just um, activities for kids to do at home. So it's like fun experiments and art projects, um, and Koi is the one doing the whole thing. I'm just editing and everything for him and helping him with the projects, but I'll leave that new channel linked in the description so you guys can check it out. He's been doing a really great job and he absolutely loves it. He's so excited with every new subscriber that he gets. So thank you guys if you were one of the ones who went over there. 
Now for this last sign, I'm just remaking a sign that I made a long time ago. This is wood that I had from my dad. Um, it's actually trim that he saved from his job that they were going to throw away. And I made it into a sign and then I decided to remake it because I didn't love it. And so I just used some Walmart stencils for the smaller letters. And then this is something that I freehanded a long time ago. And I just decided to transfer it onto the sign with the old pencil method. And I <laughs> had to practice for a long time before I got this word right. But it's really fun to freehand things. So if you guys haven't tried it before, just sit down like... I am really, really terrible at drawing and painting and things like that, and I thought that this was going to come out horrible, but I actually do like how the word turned out, and I'll leave in the description the original sign that I made when I first freehanded this word. Um, it says, together is our favorite place to be, and I think it turned out really cute too, so I'll leave that linked if you want to see um, how that first one turned out too. Now this sign I actually messed up really bad and you guys will see that in a little bit. Um, but I just wanted to leave it in here because a lot of times people think just because you're on YouTube like everything turns out perfect or something or like you've been, you're an expert or something and I have like, <laughs> I'm still learning all the time and so I actually use these chalk markers from Arteza on here um, just because I didn't want to use my paint markers that I really like because I'm running out of them and sorry if you can hear the mowing outside um, but I used these chalk markers and I didn't even think about it when I went to wipe off all the sanding after the distressing I actually wiped off some of the words and it took me so long to redo that part and get it to look and match the same as the rest of my sign again and honestly I'm not even sure if I liked how this sign turned out at the very end you guys will probably see me redo this sign again some other time I'll probably write something else on it but I just did really like the saying um, Zach and I are getting married in October and I just thought it was really fitting and this could possibly be something that could go in our bedroom too and I just really really like the saying so that's why I made this one but I think I might end up redoing it at the end so here I'm just dry brushing some Waverly truffle chalk paint onto here mm -hmm. to distress it a little bit and then I did some sandpaper over the top of the distressing um, just to you know kind of calm down those harsh lines and then um, when I went to wipe it off wipe off all of the dust that's when it went horribly wrong so you guys will see that I smeared the words and so um, with a wet washcloth <laughs> when I was wiping off the dust from sanding and so what I ended up doing is sanding off those words and rewriting them but then it still didn't blend in with the sign right and so I had to paint over it again over the whole entire slat and then once I did that it matched again I was able to distress it similar to the rest of the sign but then I ended up distressing way too much I think for my taste and you guys know I like everything really distressed but this got really really distressed so I'm not really sure if I love how it turned out but I might be redoing this one at some point. Let me know down in the comments if you guys like how it turned out or if I should redo the sign. I might even make it say something else because that's just how I am. Um, but I really like how these turned out. Um, check out Brie right here in the snow. She's so cute. And Koi is such a good brother. He is always helping out with her and he loves to play with her and she absolutely adores him. Whoa! What is that? That's called snow. You need help? Quick, can you help her walk around? <laughs> Don't 
Don't go down the hill. <laughs> Is that fun? <laughs> Are you doing it? Are you ready to come inside? You want Cory to play with you? Are you gonna go inside now? Oh, you're not? I'm not. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay? Give me your hand. Okay. Here we go. Be careful. <laughs> Wait, you're gonna fall down the hill. Can you grab it? <laughs> Whoa. Make sure she doesn't fall down the hill. Stay with her. Yeah? Are you playing in the snow? That's so fun! <laughs> yeah. Be careful. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more DIYs like these. And be sure to check out um, Koi's new channel in the description. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.